So specifically, we're going to talk about a case where we will see spleen chi deficiency combined with damp accumulation, which is a really common pattern that we see in the clinic. So let's walk through it together in terms of the reasoning, in terms of the manifestations, in terms of the treatment principle. Maybe we'll even talk about some points. And along the way, I'll talk about my thoughts about how we would go about treating, whether we treat the root first or the manifestations first or whatever. All right, so first, let's picture in our heads that we're treating a patient, a patient who is 38 years old. She's an office worker. She says, I feel tired all the time. I feel heavy. I feel like I'm dragging my feet through mud. My appetite is not amazing. I get bloated after I eat. And when you ask her about her stools, her stools are soft, they're kind of loose. You look at her tongue, it's pale tongue. It has a thick, sticky white coating. You palpate their pulse, her pulse is weak, it's a little bit soggy. So, if that was in front of you on the computer when you're taking the board exam, you would probably start to pick up on some of the manifestations, which two big things probably stick out to you, which is the loose stools, poor appetite, the tiredness, right, the fatigue, the weak pulse, weak pulse is chi deficiency. So all that together would point you towards spleen chi deficiency. Now there's another thing there though. There's this heaviness. There's the thick sticky coating. So that is an excess type. That is our dampness accumulating. So then you would see, oh, this is mixed. This is both excess and a deficiency. 